Alexa, turn on the swan. It was probably about 18 months ago now that we first came up with the idea of the Alexa kettle. Um, smart kettles have been around for a while. Temperature control kettles have been around for a while. In the UK, we just boil the kettle to 100 degrees, and that's how we've always done it. That's how we like it. But the opportunity came about because we had such a strong relationship with Amazon. They put us in touch with the Alexa team, and they said, you know, how do you feel about Alexifying a product? So how do we, from a PR point of view, how do we take that 20th century story and 21st century with, one, you know, one of the biggest companies in the world, you know, Amazon? So first of all, we had to find the right product from the right factory, which we thought we did. You know, this kettle comes out the same factory as our Nordic and Stealth kettle, for instance. We wanted to keep it within the family. And I really like the way that the LED display is in the wall and there's no actual buttons on the product. It's all like touch sensitive. So again, we didn't want to overcomplicate it because for me personally, I see a lot of smart products and they're, I feel like they're over-engineered. To be honest, we probably wanted to launch it um, pre-Christmas last year, but there was just a few obstacles in the way that didn't make it uh, viable to us. What coincided with that was then the opportunity to, to really launch the product at the CES show in Vegas. Now, the Consumer Electronics Show in Vegas is one of the world's biggest. It's where all the big brands go. And Amazon approached us about how do we feel about our product featuring it in their kitchen display in their hall. Just an amazing opportunity. And you know, the thanks go out to all the team, Alexa, the EU team, and the American team for making that happen and making the project happen. And the response was ridiculous. Um, the day of launch, it featured on Chris Moyle's show in the morning. It also featured on Radio One. The Daily Star picked it up and actually put it in print. The, the PR behind it was just beyond anything we've experienced before. To date, it's been our best launch ever and our most successful from a PR point of view, from a flag waving point of view. And yeah, we're just absolutely delighted with the success of it. It's really put Swan back on the map. It will be launching into the EU uh, in a couple of months to our partners over there. But also now, the North America launch um, should be happening in two or three months. We did have a slight problem because in North America, they like to use Fahrenheit and the rest of the world likes to use Celsius. So we've had to make a few tweaks to the product. So you'll be able to flip between Fahrenheit and Celsius. A lot of big interest from big, big retailers over there. Um, so we're hoping it could be like the, the big launch of Swan into, into North America. And we're already thinking about the next product, but I can't tell you too much yet. Mm -hmm.